We have a voicemail number. That number is two one nine two David P. Here's a voicemail about the horrifying Salman Rushdie stabbing, which we talked about on yesterday's bonus show. This voicemail is from the Eggman, who we have not heard from, from for at least a, a few weeks, if not a month or two. Hey, Dave, I make a prediction that we will never see Salman Rushdie in public ever again. Mm. Either he is passed away or he's going to say they're going to say he's dead. Or he's going to fake his own death. That's it. We'll never see him again. Um, I hope he's OK, but that's my prediction. Shalom, brother. Yeah, um, I uh, so since the Eggman left that voicemail, the reports are that Salman Rushdie's condition has improved, which is great. He is now, I believe, if I understand the last medical report, expected to survive. He's 75 years old. And despite the fatwa officially being for, formally being rescinded, we all knew he was still at risk, does a public appearance and he gets stabbed. It would be perfectly logical for Salman Rushdie to never show his face in public again. And it's sad that that's the reality of the situation. But there is a contingent of people determined, determined to see Rushdie dead. And so, I mean, faking his own death or simply never appearing in public again. Honestly, the situation is so crazy that it all seems somewhat rational if he were to do something like that. For now, let's just continue hoping for his recovery. We have a great bonus show for you today. We will talk about the complete and total backfire of the Mehmet Oz crudite video, which, by the way, I covered months ago, months and months ago. It's not a new video, but it's gone viral. The Biden administration has canceled almost four billion dollars in student debt for more than two hundred thousand borrowers. We'll tell you who and why. And the NBA, the National Basketball Association, has decided it will not hold games on Election Day in order to encourage people to vote. And of course, right wingers are furious, even though the NBA is just saying, just go vote. We're not telling you who to vote for. All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Get access by signing up at joinpacman.com. I've talked on the show before about how we have dealt with hacking and it's a terrible feeling. You have to act quickly. The problem can get worse fast if you don't. And I now protect myself with Aura. Aura monitors my email addresses, passwords, bank accounts, credit cards, all of that stuff and sends me alerts if anything has been compromised. It's identity theft protection and fraud monitoring all wrapped together. Aura continuously monitors the dark web looking for your private info. You get an alert as soon as something is discovered. Aura also does things like alert you if there are suspicious credit inquiries, if someone opens or tries to open an account in your name. I've gotten useful alerts from my Aura app and I was able to act on them quickly. If you don't have a tool like Aura, I highly recommend it. And when you go to Aura.com slash Pacman, you will get Aura free for 14 days, which you can use to do things like see if your passwords have been leaked. The link is down below.